What is the difference between criteria of truths used in daily life and criteria in non-duality? The criteria for truth in daily life is exactly the same as the criteria in non-duality. Here also whatever changes becomes doubtful in daily life. But what happens is the truth gets distorted by need to survive. Now that which is necessary for survival is taken as truth even though it is changing. But in the non-duality we rise about the, above the survival and we declare everything is false that is changing. That leaves us with only the experiencer that gives us a way towards the experiencer. Otherwise we will always remain tangled in one or the other experiences. We will never reach our true essence. So in, in the daily life the body is changing but uh, <laughs> we call it the truth. The body is the truth because it is needed for survival. But in spirituality, in uh, this non-dual philosophy, it is obviously false. And so on. Everything is false. But in daily life, and the things that don't concern us, they, they are not required for survival. Their judgment is exactly done in the same way. As soon as it is needed for survival, the truth is now twisted by the mind. And some things which are changing, they are also taken as truth. That is what we call as the transactional truth. During practice, it seems that the layer activity of ego demands exclusive attention to it for it to be known. Whereas this is not the case with other layers. Why is it so? Ego demands exclusive attention. That is not a very new thing, isn't it? This is the habit of the ego. This is its tendency that it wants everything for itself and including your meditation. The ego wants to take the charge of the meditation also. And the other layers do not have this kind of attention seeking behavior. There is no me, me, me in the other layers. It is the ego which demands. Nothing is happening to me, I am sitting in the meditation. Ego, isn't it? I am progressing now. I sat in meditation for two hours today. Progress. Ego. So, yes, you are right. This is because this is its original tendency to draw all the attention. And what is the cure of this? Simply witness this. Simply witness. You don't need to remove it. You don't need to, don't need to kill it. Witnessing. Make the ego your object of meditation. Whatever you are doing, the awareness practice. If I am unchanging, how do vibrations rise in me? You see, the unchanging cannot even have possibility, isn't it? Here the question should be dealt at the level of non-duality. Because at the level of non-duality we say that I am the vibrations also, not at the level of duality. At the level of duality we never say that I have the potential. No, I don't have any. At the level of non-duality we say that I am the existence which has all the possibilities, all the potential, the emptiness. Existence is both changing and unchanging. The change is false. We need to invent something to explain it. So it is beyond uh, intellect. How can it be both? It is one, but how can it be changing and unchanging at the same time? Look at the ocean. There is only one ocean and the waves and the water, they coexist, changing and unchanging. It is one. Now why is intellect confused by this thing? Because the duality is created by the intellect or the mind, Chitta So it creates the duality then is confused by it. Why, how come it is non-dual? That is the paradox here. So only the elimination of the intellect will give you non-duality. Rising above the intellect will take you to non-duality. See, the existence is so pure, if you remove the mind and its variations, whatever it is, distortion it is caused, existence is so pure that it has no knowledge also. There is no need. It is purity. This is the state of surrender. Unknowing does not mean that I am stupid, I cannot know anything. No. Unknowing means that after knowing everything, I am left with nothing. After having all the knowledge, I am the most devoid of knowledge. I am the one who is totally devoid of the knowledge. 
This is the only knowledge you will get. <laughs> no knowledge is the end. And only this philosophy takes you there. An agnostic position is guaranteed by non-dual philosophy. I don't think there is any other. Others, they will take you to knowledge. Look, this is like this, this is, this is like that. Now, memorize this and die. This will be the conclusion of other philosophies. The agnostic can become anybody. <laughs> what do they do? They take any path, they take any philosophy, any kind of system and they totally destroy it, to totally break it down. It is best to not commit to any philosophy. As soon as you commit to something, you are gone. Ignorance will take you over. Commitment is the property of a weak ego. A weak ego wants security and commitment. Remember, the bird does not trust the branch. The branch can break anytime. The bird has full confidence on her wings. The bird is not dependent on the branch. So, you should not be dependent on a path. You should not be dependent on a philosophy. Whether it is Advait, non-dual, this or Bodh or whatever. They are to be discarded. How do we play this game of discarding? First, you need to discard that which is stuffed in your mind by the society, by the ignorant people. Remove that first. Then second, you discard that which is stuffed by teachers, like the science and all the junk. And third, you need to discard that which is told by the scriptures, by all the paths. And then fourth, you throw away the Guru, useless. He can take you only to the knowledge. And then the surrender is complete when you discard the, all the knowledge that you have accumulated. Self-realization, what is that? I don't care. This is what the agnostic will say. You are self-realized, you are saying with so much pride as if you know everything. They will say like this. And then they will break down your self-realization into nothing. <laughs> Whatever security you, you were obtaining from these concepts will be taken away. The one who is not standing on any ground is the most stable become the agnostic. Do not put too much confidence on what you know. Be that which you are, you see. Be that which you are. Now, that, will, that, that will make you more confident. Not the concepts. Know that the unknowing is the only option this creature has. Surrender is the only option. There is no free will. When you see the creature is capable of one thing which can be done freely and that is to surrender that cannot be programmed in the creature. It is very amazing that this can also happen. This possibility is also there. The creature is bound by everything in the mind. You see, the memory is the binding thing for the creature. And the knowledge is in the memory. You know that. When the knowledge is surrendered, truly the creature is free. You cannot get better than this. You cannot become better than the agnostic. Non-duality simply because there is none in front of it shows you that it is agnostic philosophy. Nothing will be known. That is the most free. This is the gift that you get. You get the freedom. Moksha. Now there is no burden of knowing also. Just be. Enjoy. Now there is no hate towards the creature also. Why am I the human being? What wrong I had done? <laughs> that I got this form. Full of troubles. Now there is no complaint in this creature because it is doubting it. Am I the human being? You are f feeling so secure being a human. That is the problem, isn't it? Drop it. Trust your wings. The human being is a very weak branch. It will break any time. <laughs> Keeps breaking most of the time, isn't it? Your progress is from uh, ignorance to knowledge and to unknowing. Surrender. Just be what you are. And it is very strange that you cannot distinguish between not knowing and ignorance. The agnostic and the ignorant. From far away they will look same. Then you need to dig. <laughs> Keep asking some questions and you will find that the ignorant person is full of confidence when replying. And the agnostic will question you back. Uh, why do people find ignorance more comfortable and easy? People are lazy because knowledge takes a lot of effort, a lot of intelligence and that is hard work. 
to think to cultivate the skills and the abilities to know and people don't want that people want to be lazy whatever is told okay it's fine it is it is the final truth your mother told you something yes yes finally i got the truth from nobody else no one else ex- other than my mother and so everybody fills you with garbage as you grow up and as soon as you are adult you uh, you have converted from a human to a donkey thanks to the society lack of critical thinking believing simply believing or disbelieving the guru another common thing you see i will believe everything else including tv and the politicians and the military but no guru gurus always lie so this is the condition of our society 